In this video, I'm mixing every sauce brand and flavor into one bottle. For context, the first known sauce was invented around 200 BC in the midst of Roman antiquity. It was a fishy flavored sauce known as garum, which, quite frankly, made me more thankful for Heinz ketchup. <laughs> Important disclaimer. Now I was excited for this challenge, thinking it was mostly going to be sunshine and rainbows, until I realized defining what qualifies as a sauce was more difficult than I thought. For example, these are obviously types of sauces and no one would disagree with that, whereas these three are condiments and the ranch is even considered a dressing. But are they also sauces? The more I researched the answer to this question, the more confused I became. But thankfully, after hours of research, I saw that most condiments are also classified as a dipping sauce. And that's when I realized I was going to be buying a lot of sauces for this video. I even bought the world's hottest sauce made with Carolina Reaper peppers, which I tried later on in this video, by the way. <laughs> At the end of the video, I have three of my friends try the final product to give us a taste test review, and they also compete in a saucy mini game for a prize. Ah, where else would I start this challenge than H-E-B? If you've seen my previous videos, you probably could have guessed that, and after this one, let's just say I hope I can still come back. Now I knew there was going to be a lot of sauces, but I wasn't ready for the sheer amount of sauces that were in this store. And remember, I have to buy every brand and every flavor of that brand. While buying all of one specific thing, I try to stay out of people's way, but this guy kept getting uncomfortably close to me. I tried to ignore it and just kept doing my thing. We got tiger sauce, let's go. But after grabbing some more, it became apparent that something was up. Is there a reason, like, are you getting a lot of sauces too or something? I'm having a barbecue here in a little bit of President's Day. I mean, it's a flavor. Yeah. Okay, that guy was weird, but I kept on attending to my business because I was on a mission. Until this guy literally started looking in my cart. Uh, I, was, I was intrigued by all the sauces. El Tucan. At this moment, I realized that perhaps this guy was crazy just like me, and I thought perhaps we might even become best friends. The sauce island, I saw someone grabbing all these sauces. In fact, I even asked him to help me on this challenge by filling up the cart with me. Dang, truffle. I think we're officially starting to look like freaks. Absolutely, I've already got 10 bad looks. Worcestershire. Hey, how do you say this? Worcestershire. Boy! Although the cart was almost full at this point, we headed over to the international aisle. Here we found a lot of curry, and the Asian food section had quite the collection of sauces. All joking aside, this was the heaviest cart I ever pushed in a grocery store. You're doing a great job. I feel like I should give you a tip. But thanks for helping bag. Bruh. Kyle. Incredibly, we still bought a lot more sauces. And just to check every box, we went to every fast food restaurant that had their own sauces. Thankfully, they were all very accommodating. For example, I got Big Mac sauce in a to-go container. Can I just get a cane sauce? We got the cane sauce. Do you guys think that's going to add a good kick to the final product? No. Yes, it will. It will. I run the risk of starting a war in the comment section, but comment down below what's better, In-N-Out or Whataburger and why. Hey, the sauce is for you. Thanks, bro. Have a good one, Appreciate it. Ah, it felt nice to be home to start mixing. But remember in the intro where I said that making this video challenged me? Well, here's where I have the realization that I need to get condiments too. Emergency meeting. We took out all the sauces and we're grouping them, but my wife asked an inquisitive question. What'd you say, hon? Where's the ketchup? Yeah, basically when she asked that question, I knew we messed up. Her inquiry prompted me to do more research, and that's when I went back to the store to buy the saucy condiments. <laughs> Now we really got all the sauces. We indeed have all the sauces now, and before mixing them, I'm organizing them into letters based on the type of sauce. Try to guess what I spelled. That was a lot harder than I was anticipating. Let's just say I'm nervous for that letter G, and also the world's hottest sauce at the end. Starting out with the letter H, which is barbecue. This bag was so heavy, I legitimately thought it was going to break. And now, science time. We need to make the final product as evenly distributed as possible. So that way we are getting a true mix of every sauce into one bite when we taste test it at the end. To ensure this, let's first note that we have 251 total sauces. But these sauces obviously come in different sized bottles. And I need all of them to fit into one 20 ounce hang time packaged bottle. To do this, I'm only going to take one teaspoon from each sauce because one teaspoon is equivalent to 0.167 ounces. And 0.167 ounces 
ounces times 251 sauces equals 41.9 ounces, which is just enough room in this blender that I can gradually fill up to mix all the sauces together in the end. This will ensure a truly legendary hang time sauce is made because it will contain an even amount of every sauce. And in the interest of time, I'm only going to try a couple of the most unique flavors from each letter. These are the ones I thought you guys would want to see me taste, and the rest I will speed run. Has kind of a zesty smell. Perfect. One teaspoon. It's so funny because that looks like nothing. It's got a little spice to it. That's really good. Kind of reminds me of teriyaki chicken. Gourmet habanero. This is supposed to be a little hot. Not nearly as the world's hottest sauce. Hopefully this is a good warm up. Let's see how tough I am. That's good. Personally, I like spicy things. Not like crazy spicy like the world's hottest pepper, but this, I'm starting to crave barbecue over here. Like not just sauce, like with ribs and, and meat and stuff and brisket, you know. The last one we're gonna try for this pile is Japanese barbecue sauce. Viscosity is very low, it's like squirtable. Oh, safety cap. Okay, this smells a little bit like soy sauce and wasabi. This would be good on sushi, I feel like. Let's try it though. This is basically sushi, french fry. Wow, that's good though. Guys, those were all great in their own right, but this is still number one. Comment down below if you agree. Watch this speed run. Ready, go. Raspberry, not a fan. Ooh, dog. There was even more barbecue, but don't worry, I'm gonna speed. Look at this mixture so far. The mixture is already crazy, and don't worry, the other letters aren't nearly as big. The sauce transit has arrived. Boy, oh boy, do we have a controversial letter here. I mean, this is so controversial. My channel might get canceled over this, okay? And in that case, it's been nice knowing you guys. So here we got like 14 different ranches and 12 different mustards. I'm only trying two of them. The first one is bacon ranch. Never knew this existed. I mean, it better be good. Is there bacon chunks in this? Like there's actually meat in this? That's kind of strange to think about, but these fries are kind of cold now. I'd rather try this on bacon. The bacon ranch almost kind of tastes like, you know, like a dog food stick that's like a bacon flavored, like chewy thing. Yes, when I was a kid, I tried to bite, okay. I don't know, maybe we should have a second opinion. Thanks for coming, hon. We need a second opinion on this bacon ranch. You wanna try it? Ooh, yeah. Don't like a lot of sauce. Ooh, yeah. she said this is the <laughs> sauce. Let's go. Mmm. Fill it all the way up. And my gift to you, you can have the rest of the bacon ranch. Thanks. Don't eat it all at once, though. Love you. Love you. Wait, you wanna try one more? Horseradish mustard. You sure it's horseradish mustard? What the heck is this, dude? What do you eat this on? I gotta try it. Ooh, it kind of looks really grainy. Sorry, I didn't think I was gonna be doing that face in this video. This is fancy mustard. This is already looking rather insane. I can only imagine once we put the hot sauce in. Onto the letter N and things are just getting crazier. Come here, reload. Check out what this is. It's ketchup. This is a dipping sauce for our technical standards for this video. And if you disagree, understandable. Let me just hear your thoughts in the comments. Cajun Blast, because these aren't all ketchups. There are some random ones in here. It's so cool how it comes in this spray. Like, is this actually working though? Unfortunately, the spray bottle wasn't working. And I don't know why, I was really looking forward to trying this. Dude, no way. Guess we'll have to try it the old fashioned way. Wow, that is very garlicky and buttery. I'm glad I didn't spray that. I also did want to try this sriracha ketchup. I really need to bake some new fries as well. This is getting pathetic. Kind of tastes like expired ketchup. Yeah. Time to spice things up. Letter G is mostly hot sauces. Oh, you that? Yeah, these testing fries have also been out all day, so I quickly made another batch with some nugs, cause why not? This is strictly for taste testing purposes. I also am pretty hungry, actually. This is hard work. But Jalokia, ghost pepper. I do know ghost pepper is hot, guys. It's scary hot. It's so scary, they use the word ghost in the title of it, okay? Ooh. Ghost pepper fry. Wow. 
Wow. Hot doggy. That was hot. That is hot. It's literally still hot. I needed some ranch to stop it. Black truffle infused hot sauce. I'm trying this one for you guys because it was really expensive at the store, like $10, I think. Made with the finest red chili peppers and infused with black winter truffle. Mmm, really rich, strong taste. I love it. On to the letter T, and we're getting closer to the foreign sauces. Ooh, samples are looking nice. I will say I almost instinctively put ketchup all over this plate. We're speed running this letter as well, except for Tabasco extra hot. I like my nugs really like crispy. Which kind of sounds weird. Wow. I mean, I put enough on there, that's for sure. This is extremely hot, but I gotta learn just to take this like nothing if I'm gonna stand a chance against the world's hottest sauce towards the end. Oh yeah, Louisiana hot sauce. This is the best. Comment down below if you agree. Whoa, that smells feisty. Time for some foreign sauces with the letter I. I'm only gonna try a couple. By the way, I'm kind of sick. Sorry if you guys can hear that in my voice. Maybe this fish sauce will heal me up. That's the first one we're gonna try. Fish sauce. Besides the words fish and sauce, the rest is in Chinese. So I don't know what this is made out of. Wow, this is very oily looking. When it said fish sauce, I thought it was like a sauce that would add flavor to fish, but no, this literally tastes like fish. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to put that in there. Probably the only other one I'll try for this letter is this wasabi sauce. Now, I've heard that wasabi is pretty hot. Oh. We're one step closer to the world's hottest sauce with letter M. The letter M is a random smorgasbord of sauces. I'm only gonna be trying the clam sauce. That's not working. Turns out I do have a can opener. Just had to look better. I shouldn't be celebrating too soon though, cause now I actually have to try the clam sauce. That ain't too shabby. It's actually good. I don't know why I was so scared. Really? Yes. Sorry, the last letter. These videos might kill me one day. Chick-fil-A sauce, all right, Chick-fil-A. We need you to carry the hang time sauce, okay? Even if this is bad right now, I'm hoping some Chick-fil-A sauce will just overpower this bad boy and make it bust. I'm tempted to put more than one teaspoon, but for the sake of my integrity in this video, we're gonna keep it to one teaspoon. This letter was all of the fast food sauces, so I put the rest of them in. That's all the sauces, my boy, except four. The fact that it's called Extreme Regret is a good indicator not to try it. And my biggest regret came hours later on the toilet. <laughs> Why? Oh, and remember I showed you this scale when I ate the ghost pepper sauce earlier? Well, Extreme Regret has Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper, the literal hottest pepper in the world. Oh, is that too much? I feel like that's too much. I feel like that's too much to try at once, but you know me. What have I done? What have I done? Ah, what have I done? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Guys, it's been about 30 minutes since the incident and amazingly my sinuses do feel more cleared. I mean, I blew my nose a lot. I'm reluctant to add a whole teaspoon of this, but rules are rules, am I right? This might be a bad idea. With the world's hottest sauce in, we're finally ready to mix it all together. Here we go in three, two. Oh, it's overfilling. Overfilling at the top, oh man. That looks insane. Time to pour it in my custom hang time bottle to get it ready for the taste testers and mini game. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna clean out the outside of the bottle. I smacked on my hang time branding to make it look more official. What do you guys think? I think one of these days I'm gonna get sued. But thankfully it's time to leave my house to visit my taste testers for a review and mini game. We picked up Chick-fil-A on the way to use it as a dipping device, and naturally, we had lunch there as well. Would you like any sauce with that? Boy, would I. I have 251 sauces with that. My pleasure. Subscribe, Subscribe to Hang Time! Time. Thanks, bros! Yeah. Yeah. I guess walking around with this white jacket and this camera isn't very subtle. Alas, we've arrived at the church to be the first humans in history to ever try this sauce. What counts as a sauce? Anyone want to shed some light on that? I think if you dip something, any... If it's dippable. Sauce texture, it counts. Yeah. Anything exactly. that's gonna be added to enhance, that's a sauce. Every sauce can be a condiment, but not every condiment can be a sauce. Yes. Is that fair to Correct. say? Correct. Yes. That's fair. Like, like what's a condiment is a pickle. Yeah. yeah. We, we just, just solved, solved it. the debate. We just solved it. Sorry, I just had to ask that in a group setting. Comment if you agree with our definition. Now, before we taste it, I thought of a mini game where the winner gets $100. Whoever lists 10 sauces in the fastest time wins. Go. Mayo, ketchup, mustard. Chick-fil-A sauce, Taco Bell sauce, barbecue sauce, uh, Polynesian sauce, uh, honey roasted barbecue, uh, more. mustard mayo. 15. I'll take that. Wait a minute. Now editing this, I realized two things. One, my friend here was either oblivious he repeated the words or he was slick enough to get away with it. And two, I'm not skilled enough to multitask. Let's just say they gave him a slight advantage over the competitors and they didn't beat him. And guys, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about that. Maybe I'll give you an advantage in the next video. I guess Good job, this guy, knows, this guy knows his sauces. My Thank you, sir. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, a taste test review. And we're trying it on different types of food to see what it tastes best on. I'm gonna pour some, oh shoot, oh. sorry. I gotta clean that up. <laughs> oh dang, good viscosity. Yeah. So liquid. <laughs> Is that the word for pour? Oh wow, Thickness that's tangy. Mm. That's a tangy smell. Smell test, everyone smell it. What does it smell like? Mm. Ooh, very mild, vinegary. Definitely smell some barbecue in there. Let's get a decent amount if you don't mind. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Mm. You guys ready? Wait for that. Here we go. Good Solo dude. This, this is way too much. Mm. I, I love it. it. It's sweet. There's a hint of barbecue in there. And then a little bit of hot sauce. Vinegar hits you hard, mm -hmm. but then it's followed by a nice subtle honey mustard taste. Then followed by a little ghost peppery like on the back of the tongue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like a little heat to it at the end. The other thing, is there like some Worcestershire? Yeah, there is. Sauce? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I'll taste that. I can taste the Worcestershire. I should have used that for one of my yeah. sauces, Worcestershire. We also wanted to try it on chicken to see if it was better. Sweeter. It's definitely time. better on the mm. chicken. For me, it's an initial too, like, too much of a sour taste. I like how you take a bite and it's just like, wham, like it's there. <laughs> if you're staying on YouTube, please check out another video. I hope you liked this one. Till next time, Lord willing, grace, love, peace, and mercy.